Let's move uh, to our corporate spotlight and we're looking first at Insecticides India. The stock has been underperforming to say the least, down 13% or so in the last month. But the company has now launched a new product targeting stem borers in paddy. Will the new launch aid revenue growth? We will speak to the management in a minute, but let's get in Puneet to know more about the company. Well, thanks for that. You rightly said, you know, the new drug, the new insecticide centrin is what the company has launched. This is effectively controls stem borers, which is effectively pests which affect paddy stock as well as rice stock. So this is uh, uh, insecticide to avoid that. Apart from that, uh, the company has also claimed that uh, this particular insecticide has a unique blend uh, for pest control as well as crop, uh, crop nutrition as well as nourishment going forward. Now, just about the company, they have 21 technical products uh, you know, in their basket of all the products that they have. Apart from that, uh, 125 plus uh, product formulation as well is something that they boast of. When you look at you know the category-wise breakup, the insecticide category has gone up effectively from 41% of total revenues to about 48% in the first half of FY25 compared to the same time last year. While the herbicide segment has also grown from 33% to 39%, this has also impacted margins positively. It's up from, uh, it's around for the first half, it's at 12% versus 8% for the full fiscal year of FY24. So it'll be important to, you know, confirm with the management for what's the uh, EBITDA margin guidance for this year, as well as going forward, what's the outlook in terms of, you know, the insect segment as a whole and any kind of government foray as well, because we did see the government announcement coming in uh, for a higher allocation uh, for fertilizer segment as well. So this is just the lowdown of the new uh, new insecticide that the company has launched as well as the growth prospects going forward as well. Mm. Okay, let's in fact get into that conversation. Rajesh Agarwal, Managing Director, Insecticides India, joining us now. Mr. Agarwal, very good morning to you and thank you for speaking with us here uh, at NDTV Profit. Let's begin with um, talking about Centrin. You yes. are saying, you're describing it as a rev revolutionary insecticide. Why is it revolutionary? Uh, we had launched Bishan two years back. That we had launched by making the technical in-house. So now this is the extension of that brand. When I say extension, because it's a mixture where, for which we have applied for the patent and we are expecting the to receive the patent soon. So this is a granular formulation which is launched into the market. And very soon we are also going to come up with the liquid formulation of the same. So with this granule uh, formulation, we have very big expectation. We expect that apart from the paddy, we are going to extend this crop uh, product to other crops also. And in two years time itself, this brand Centran itself should touch 100 crores and bringing 50 crores in the first year, which will be 25, 26, because this will be the uh, small trial launch time where again, we should be able to touch 10 crores in this two, three months time. So I take it as a big product and with the supplementing liquid formulation also coming in, that is also going to give it a big lead. So overall, this is an effort in our exercise where we are trying to launch the premium offerings to the market, which can give the better solution to the farmer so that he gets a proper solution for whatever pest he where he is facing the problem. So company has given many such type of products sure, in the sure, recent. Sir, sure, sir. Just want to understand. You mentioned two figures: hundred crores and fifty crores. Uh, yeah. You are looking at fifty crores coming from this new uh, product. By when is this the top line that you are talking about? Can you give us yes, some sir, details? I am talking about the top line. 25, 26 should see um, not less than 50 crores. And the very next year should touch 100 crores. And this would so be in a premium product category? Yes. Okay, so what is the sort of margin impact that you have seen? Because even in Q2, the focus on premiumization has helped you. Uh, yeah, it has helped. And uh, even in the uh, running quarter, which is recently closed, our uh, results are very near. You will see that we are uh, working on this direction and uh, very positively the company is able to premiumize its product range and which has helped us in building our bottom line. Mr. Agarwal, good morning, Neera Jair. Uh, 100 crores on a, I mean, 100 crores on a, on a let's say the FY24 top line of 2000 crores. That, that It's good for a single product. Doesn't sound revolutionary to my mind though. I mean, so is there a product characteristic which may, which makes you so constructive on this? And would the growth ahead be even better? Why do you call it revolutionary? I'm trying to understand. Uh, it's a mixture product for which we have applied for the patent. Okay. Mixture product which was launched by us two years back. Okay. And that product with the granule and SE formulation has already crossed 100 crores in this fiscal itself. Uh -huh. And it is further. 
So, and this is the next generation of that product because we have used CTPR technical and also mixed fipronil technical with this. So, it's a mixture of two technicals, which is very, very effective in the field. Okay. And uh, uh, paddy is the crop which is largely sown across the country. In mm. east, and there are two seasons. In north, there is one season in certain areas, even Got three it. seasons. So we are very, very confident that is very farmer friendly product and pocket friendly and it is going to give a big help to the farm. Okay, so because of the technical nature of the product, you call it revolutionary, but it will probably do about 100 crores in a full year of operations for FY27. Okay, fair call. Now, uh, fill us in. I mean, you might be in a silent period, quasi silent period. So I want to ask for specific numbers. But how is business looking like? Because when I look at the trailing 12 month numbers related to what you did in FY24 or thereabouts or even the H1 numbers, you probably seem on track for nearly 25-30% growth. Now, is that looking like par for the course for FY25? Uh, and, and, and are you more constructive on what could happen in FY26 uh, based on what's happened in the last three years, monsoon, so on and so forth? Uh, if we look at the previous years, you will find that the prices have dropped in this uh, period because during the COVID time, the prices has gone up and now the prices for all the chemicals have fallen. So even after that fall, we are able to maintain our uh, top line somehow in the first half. In the third half, uh, in the second half, you'll see some growth, but you will see the difference has come in the bottom line and that we are going to maintain. So I mean to say that this year is the year which where we have made a correction in the bottom line and next year will be the year where you will see the correction both in the top line and the bottom line. We are focusing towards the premium products and our entire growth story is based on the premium products and we are going to grow with the premium products alone. So the target is to grow the premium products by 25% in the next fiscal again minimum. Sorry, you know, but no, no, I'm sorry. I mean, you, you, maybe you're being a bit modest, but I'm just trying to understand. Your FY24 numbers were circa 2,000 crores, 1966 to be precise, if I'm not wrong. In H1, yeah. you've done 1,300 crores. So technically, even if I just annualize these numbers, you're looking at a 25-30% growth in top line too. I mean, which is uh, not bad, right, Mr. Garwal? Ours is a cyclic industry. The second half is little lull. Oh, so okay, 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 okay. I mean, but yes, in the bottom line, you will see that I, what you are expecting. What is the kind of um, demand that you're seeing for premium products? I'm wondering, Mr. Agarwal, because uh, you also in Q2 had delay in insecticide spraying. The whole yeah. schedule was delayed by farmers and that could have been maybe to some extent because of weather conditions, etc. I'm not too sure if you'd like to address that. But for premiumization in the current condition and uh, economic outlook, what is the kind of demand that you're seeing? Are you seeing that kind of demand? Uh, yes, actually, we are providing the solution to the farmer. So when you are providing a solution and you are trying, you are able to prove the advantage in the market, the demand is there in uh, very much there in the market. And we have seen a very good growth in the first half. Uh, and uh, very soon you will see the results and you will find that in the third quarter also there has been a decent growth in the sales of these premium products, which is helping the company. And you will see that continuously happening actually because the entire target of growth is from the premium product segment alone. So as I told uh, uh, just now that the target for next fiscal will be also minimum growth of 25% from the premium product range. So 25% of growth is going to come from the premium product range. Just give us a sense that how the push towards premiumization uh, helps your margin mix. Uh, premium products generally are the products which are the focus products for the company. Mm. Uh, generally, they are backward integrated or they are coming out of the collaborations. And yes, they have the good margins, uh, generally uh, a margin not less than 35% for the company. So this is helping the company in uh, growing both uh, in the top line as well as the bottom line. You also had an MOU recently with this Bio Prime Agro Solutions where you will uh, introduce new products, etc. Uh, give us a sense, uh, Mr. Agarwal, of what is the, uh, the, you know, the market size for this and what is the potential here? I see a good future for the biologicals. So we have set up our biological R&D center and our factory. And now we have set up a new company called IL Biologicals, for which again, I'm going to set up a new R&D center. But at the same time, we are also trying to tie up with some R&D companies who have already developed the revolutionary products. So this company has developed a seaweed, which is a par excellence than the seaweeds which are coming from abroad. 
so this was a very exotic product and uh, we believe that in the next in the because this year it's a trial launch and next year itself we should be able to cross 10 crore or 15 crores of sales uh, revenue with this product and uh, we are also planning to launch the second generation of this product relief mm -hmm. with this company so if the two products come in maybe the contribution might touch these 20 crores but i see that this product again has a potential of going up to 50 crores in three years of time so I'm just understanding uh, this zero farming that we want to do, is, you know, in, in India, zero budget natural farming. Does this product uh, lead to that or lend to that at all? Again, uh, I would say that uh, you need the solutions when you have to face the uh, challenges from front. So this is a biological product. This is a come. This comes out of a seaweed. So we don't. Uh, we say that when you have to fight a war, you need some weapons. So you need the insecticide for immediate control of pest. You need the herbicide, which is a chemical herbicide, to control the weeds. But at the same time, like in our life, we uses. Uh, you uh, the, we do morning walk. We use yoga. We uh, use Ayurveda. Similarly, we promote the biological products also because that can reduce the quantum of chemical which you are using on the field. So these are the biological solutions which we are trying to promote, and we are also trying to make various revolutionary biological products also which are not focused in the past by the companies. Uh, so uh, you will see many new biological launches coming out of the cradle of insecticide India and many patented offerings in that segment also. That's great. If we can have more biological inputs and uh, less, uh, you know, harmful sort of inputs in these insecticides, that's always great. But thank you so much uh, for your time, Mr. Agarwal. Great to speak with you uh, on this uh, as uh, you focus on the next quarter. And we hope to see you soon. Thank you. All right.